first Zulu, now Zulu Dawn. Mr. Berica! Mr. Berica! Come and look at this, sir! My God, we found them. Warn the camp. Tell Chelmsford. Inform his lordship we've found what he's looking for. Well battered. Well battered. Every Zulu is raised to be a warrior. Without a war, there'd be no Zulu nation. The heroic story of the epic struggle between the Zulu nation and the might of Queen Victoria's army. I am obliged to issue a notification declaring a state of war between Her Majesty's government and the Zulu king, Tetsuayo. <laughs> and all the splendor of a proud British army riding out to face a Zulu dawn. Colonel Danford, William Vereker. Yes. I hear you've been seeking officers. Good ones, yes, Mr. Vereker. Gentlemen who could ride and shoot. January 1879, Lord Chelmsford's army crosses into Zulu territory, their object to destroy the Zulu forces. Ah! Oh, you idiot. There, Melvin. There, stretched out, is my Lord Chelmsford's army. What a wonderful adventure we undertake. What a marvelous spree. 1,500 ah! British soldiers faced a mighty warrior nation 30,000 strong. It was the beginning. It was Zulu dawn. You were afraid of the Zulu then, quartermaster? One Zulu is only one man. And I'm afraid of no one man. But the Zulu, they come in the thousands, like a black wave of death. Are you dictating the strategy of this war, sir? I'm explaining my reasons. If on another occasion you flout my direct orders, I shall reluctantly relieve you of your command. My only fear is that the Zulu will avoid engagement. Zulu Dawn. 